All right. In this video, we are going to discuss different security options that Excel can offer you in order to protect your worksheet from being edited. So for example, here we have a template and we want users to be able to edit only those cells that are allowed to be edited while cells outside those tables should be protected from being edited. Now one thing to understand about Excel is that when you put a password to the worksheet, all cells are automatically locked. To demonstrate that, I'm going to put a password sheet by going to Review, Protect Sheet, and now I can put a password to the worksheet. And now the password is already in the worksheet and if I try editing these cells, like cells outside my tables, Excel will now block you from doing it. But unfortunately, it also blocks the user from editing cells that you want to edit. Well, this could come handy if that's your intention, but what if you want people to edit or to be able to edit these cells? So to do that, we have to first unlock our worksheet. So let me remove the protection of the file or the worksheet. And then we have to tell Excel to unlock these cells. How? By first right-clicking on this. Work, uh, cells. Remember, okay, I remember, you have to do this while your worksheet is still not protected. Okay, you cannot do this if your worksheet is already protected with a password. So let me do that. Highlight the cells, right click, format cells, and you should see that under format cells, there are several tabs. One of them is and as you could see here, locked is telling us that these worksheets will be locked the moment you protect the worksheet. So I will unlock these cells. Now remember that when you're doing this, nothing is still happening to your protection. You're just declaring those cells to be unlocked when you put a password. So right now, there's still no password, so I can still edit anything in the cell or in the worksheet. Let me also do that here first. So right click, format cells, and then protection should again be unlocked. Click OK. And now Excel knows that these cells will be unlocked when you put a password. So let's try it out. Review, protect sheet. Let's put a password. And let's see what happened. These cells, if you remember, were never touched or were never unlocked. So if I do anything there, Excel blocks you from doing anything. While those cells that I have a protection or I unlocked can be edited. So as you could see, what you have to do first when you want to protect certain cells is you have to actually do the reverse. You have to unlock cells that are supposed to be editable in your worksheet. Now, another level of protection in your worksheet is by putting passwords to specific cells as well. Note that this password for the cells is not the same as the password of the worksheet. So there will be several layers of password one password to protect the sheet, and one password to protect specific cells. Now, what's the benefit of doing that, protecting cells? Well, if you do that, you can actually assign different passwords to several parts of your worksheet. And because of that, you can control how people will be able to modify the file. To do that, we have to go to Review, and then under review, you should see there, allow edit ranges. Now, allow edit ranges puts a password to specific cells. I'll click new. And then let's say this one is for team leaders. 
cells B3 to B6 and the password would be something like this. Click OK. I need to repeat the password. Click OK. And then I also want to put a password for this part here but it has to be a different password for my people. So I'll click new. This time for staff, not the team leaders. So instead of B3 to B6, I will highlight these cells instead. Put a different password. Click OK. Right, click apply just to make sure. Then click OK again. So what we did is that we now have a different password for these four cells and we also have a different password for this. So then you could tell the team leaders that, hey team leaders, the password for this is 1234. But for your people, you could also give them a different password like, hey, for this one, the password is 5678. Unfortunately, they do not know the password for the one above. But remember that to implement this password, you have to again protect the sheet, which is a different password, at least a different password level, from those cells. Click OK. And there you have it. Cells that are not allowed to be edited cannot be edited, while cells that are assigned a password will prompt for a specific password that certain users will know. And since I will manage to enter the password, I could now enter the data. For this one, now allows you to edit all those cells that we group together, if you remember, while these ones are still not editable because they have a different password compared to the one above. And that's the second level of password protection in Excel. Now the last level of password that we're going to discuss is putting password to the file itself. So sometimes you don't even want people to be able to open your file. So to put a password to the file, you then can go to File and then save it as and then you have to, of course, select your file type. And then the secret of putting a password to the file is actually found here in the Save As Tools menu. You have to go to General Options and put a password to open the file. You could also put a password if you want people to be able to modify the file as well. So different password to open it and another password to modify it. So it's up to you if you want to do that. So for now, I'll just stick with this one. Click OK. Repeat the password. Click Save. Right. And if we close it, and if we try it out again, oops, too many files. Try it out. Here's the file. And now it prompts for a password before the people or before other users can open the file. Without it, it will not even open at all. So those are the three levels of password in MS Excel. Though there are many ways actually when you learn how to do Visual Basic or other features, but those are the three most common and probably most practical ways to put protection to your worksheets.